All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sound like Playboy Cardi, specifically in his most popular song, Sky. And if you think this is one of those vocal preset videos where it literally sounds nothing like the artist, I promise you it's not. Like, literally listen to this. This is what my vocals sound like with the preset completely off. Oh, I got a shawty throwing ketchup by the window. This blicky put your head to sleep up on your pillow. She and now watch how much better this preset makes my voice sound. I got a shawty throwing ketchup by the window. This blicky put your head to sleep up on your pillow. She said I like the way you move like you my hero. So yeah, basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how I actually made those vocals. I'm going to go over the preset, show you guys how I actually made it. And by the way, if you want this preset, it's available in FL Studio, Logic, Pro Tools, and Ableton. All four big DAWs. And every DAW has a stock version and a Waves version, except for Pro Tools. Pro Tools is strictly Waves. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made these vocals, go over the preset, show you how I made it. But before we do that, we're going to show you guys how I made this beat. And before we jump into FL Studio and I show you the beat, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I drop videos like this all the time. More specifically, usually Yeet videos. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you could vote for what video you want to see next and what artist. So let's go. All right, so here's the beat project. And we're obviously in FL Studio. We're at 140 BPM. And basically what I did before making this beat is I obviously wanted to make something for Playboy Cardi. And I wanted to make something like Sky. So the first thing I did was obviously listen to Sky. So let's do that real quick. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. All right, so like I said, I wanted something that sounded like Sky. So I only used Serum for the melody. I started with this patch right here, and it's actually from my Cyberbank. So if you don't have that kit yet, I would grab it just because there are a ton of great sounds in there, and it's literally my go-to kit for everything. It's a bundle that literally includes a Serum Bank one-shot kit, a drum kit, a loop kit, pretty much everything you need. But I started with this, and I went to the scale highlighting. Let's see, view scale highlighting. It's here somewhere right here, scale highlighting. It's an A natural minor, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're actually in D minor, but I guess A minor works as well. It's just all the white keys pretty much. <coughs> and I don't know if this is the exact melody for Sky, but I know it sounds super similar. But I literally just played like what you would do if you played like a lead. But yeah, so I clicked this super simple pattern in. It's literally two bars and it just repeats. And this is what that sound alone sounded like. So yeah, obviously there is some processing on there and what I have is this routed to mix track one and then it's and then I have it rerouted over to like this melody track where I route all of the melodies together and we have an EQ and I just took out some of that low end and this is actually an automation clip. I automated the EQ so when the 808 comes in, I pull out all the low end, but it's usually there, but the low end is there when there's no 808. Then we have a stereo shaper. This is stock in FL Studio. I just brought in some delay in the stereo field, which just pulls it out into your headphones and makes the sound sound a bit wider. Then we got a delay, super simple. Uh, I believe I have it set at a, f I have it set at four steps, I believe. Uh, then we got a chorus and it's just the default preset and I just turn the mix down. Then we have this destructor pulled up right here and I used this preset uh, digitone. I just turned the mix down a lot. Then we boosted a lot of the low end and pulled a little bit of the highs down. And like I said, this is for all of the three melodies that we use. What I'll show you next is the next melody, which is the same exact thing as the first one copied over. We just used a different serum patch. Again, it is from Serum, my cyber bank, the synth chainsaw. It sounds like this. So this kind of just adds a little bit more grit to it, but I will play this sound for you guys by itself. And the last sound we got right here is another synth called Scarce. And I just copied it over again, but dropped it down an octave. And it sounds like this. So yeah, then we play all of those together and we get this sound right here. And we moved on to the drums and the drums are super simple too. The 808 was the most important part. Just really adds all the bounce, just makes the song actually hype. And if you notice, we pretty much followed the exact notes in the melody. So we're basically following the lead. So we start out with that D and then we just raise it up an octave. This is the same pattern as the melody right here. And I just added this little extra note right at the end just for some extra bounce. Play that 808 alone, it sounds like this. This is also from my cyber drum kit. Actually, all the drums in here are from my cyber drum kit. Like I said, it's like my go-to kit. Use it for literally everything. Next thing I added was a clap. Hi-hat. Open-hat. And a snare. And then real 
real quick before we play everything together i did add this one sound right here another sound from serum it is kind of just like another lead to add on top just to add like some differentiators in the song you know switch it up a little bit and this is like you can't really notice it that much unless you're really paying attention but it's just something to play like maybe during like a chorus or maybe like a hook So super simple, but it just sounds good. And when we play everything together, we got the full beat. All right, so I rendered the beat out and brought it into another FL Studio session to do the vocals. When you actually purchase the preset, you're gonna get a file that'll show you how to do everything and you'll be completely set. But a lot of people get confused because they see like the way my FL Studio is set up right here. And the way that's set up is just like a template that I use and it just makes recording a lot easier. And that is my default mixing template volume two. I'll have links in the description for everything if you guys need it. But enough of talking, let me just play you guys the song so you can hear what it actually sounds like. I don't like land trucks, yeah, I don't buy those. Try to flex that land truck, but that's a rental. I got a shawty throwing catch up by the window. This blicky put your ass to sleep up on your pillow. She said I like the way you move like you my hero. 20 bands, yeah, I spent that on Rodeo. I got your bitch in my dance and that hello. I got her dancing like this shit they always tell. All right, so let's go over how I actually did this. So there's only two tracks. We have our verse track and our ad lib track. Verse track is super simple. It's literally just the verse. All I did was record. I click this button right here. If you have FL Studio 20, which you should have, you always update your DAWs all the way. Click this record button. You'll be able to hear your voice if you have your input set. And now you can hear yourself. And all you have to do is click this record button and it'll start recording for you. And again, the reason I like this template so much is because once you record on this track, say you wanted to bring this off of the verse track, which it's already on there but you could bring it into the ad lib tracks if you wanted to. Yeah, so that's the verse track. And then our ad lib track is all this stuff down here. So basically I used it as doubles too. You could hear that right here. I don't like them. And then obviously that signature Playboy Cardi. Yeah, so those are the two separate tracks. Now let's go over them. So the actual vocal chain itself is pretty simple. I use this pretty much all the time, but obviously with each artist, you're going to want to change some settings around. So we'll go over the auto tune. We started in D minor which I'm pretty sure is actually the same key as Sky, but we have the retune speed at four and humanize at 20. Then we have NS1. You can replace this with pretty much anything you want. It's just a noise gate. Then we have fab filter. This is what we do with the first one. The first fab filter, the first EQ I use in my chain is always just shaping the vocal and getting that like initial sound down just so we have the vocal shaped for how we want it to sit on the beat. And then you can't have a vocal chain without some kind of initial compressor to flatten the vocal out and get rid of those transients that might jump in volume like too much and you'll hear it in the headset being really quiet and then jump up really loud and what a compressor does is squeeze those vocals down get everything sitting nice together we go to our ssl channel this is like a nice eq that's modeled off of a solid state logic board and it just has a nice sound to it i like what it does basically all we're doing in here is super simple too pulling out some low frequencies boosting some highs and we got a cla 76 i like using this compressor right here for adding more volume to the mix and just really helping that vocal sit better with the beat now this plugin right here if you don't have it you got to go get it it's free and we're actually not using it too much in here but believe me it does so much for vocal we got a de-esser and this is kind of weird usually you'd see a de-esser in a vocal chain a lot higher like maybe after the first compressor but the reason i have it down here is because the way i've been using a de-esser now is just controlling that high end at the end of a mix because what a de-esser is intended for is removing sibilance from any vocal and what sibilance is is anytime basically any s's so anything like that and obviously sibilance and those s sounds are just like the very high frequencies that you hear and if you just throw it at the end of a mix it'll just like remove any of that really harsh high end and i, I don't know i just like the way it sounds there and we have another eq which is just a high pass pulling out a little bit more of that low end and then we have a chorus which is stock in fl studio the ad lib bus is literally this same exact track duplicated over nothing changes except we added a fruity stereo shaper and we have the delay so we're pulling that out in the stereo field a little bit. And of course, we're pulling the volume down. And then, and of course, what we're skipping here is the delay and the reverb. So as you can see for the verse, it's bust out into this reverb long, the half note delay and the fourth note. We have the reverb long at 23%. Reverb short is at zero. The half note is at 19.6. And the fourth note is a little bit higher at minus 11.5. And then on the ad libs, we actually turn the reverb down a little bit, but the delays go up. If you want the actual settings, you're going to have to get the preset. Yeah, a lot of people ask the question, does the stock version sound as good as the Waves version? Obviously, there's going to be some differences, but 
in my opinion, you really could not tell the difference unless you're an audio engineer. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now what we're going to do is just a little freestyle. Oh, and by the way, the reason this sounds so loud and just great in the mix is because we are using my master preset right here. I'm using the Waves version, but there's a stock version as well. And the Waves version actually works in every DAW. But let's do a little freestyle at the end here. All right, so I can hear myself now. I turned off the delay, but we're just going to do a little freestyle so you guys can see what this sounds like live. This Blakey put your ass to sleep up on your pillow. She said I like the way you move like you my hero. 20 bands, yeah, I spent that on Rodeo. I got your bitch in my dance and then hello. I got her dancing like this shit ain't your retail. I don't drive up. I got drugs, I got money like a real